today's lunchtime chat, we had a request to do heroes with cicadas and making those uh, multiple cicada chains within it. So we started off with a side step to the left, twisting the leader's chest to the left, um, and leading the follower through into a forward step around the leader, so the follower is arching her foot around as she's trying to get back in front of the leader's chest, using that to create the tension to pivot around in front. If I continue to lean to my left, she will take a side step, so the follower's free leg is following the sides of the leader's step, and keep moving around, you can turn it into a form of rudimentary hero. Obviously, normally heroes are taught as combinations of forward step, side step, back step, side step, and then repeating that pattern. We then added in a cicada, so we displaced the follower there, so from the side step to the left, again, we're twisting our chest um, around to our left, so the follower's walking around herself, she's taking a step to match this, and she's not rushing to close the feet together, which gives me time to close my right foot to my left foot, put my left foot behind the follower's heel, and with any cicada, the key is to transfer our weight onto that foot, so we're stepping forward around the follower, and this gives a bit of extra momentum, and we will pivot around in a uh, tighter circle. So, we can also do cicadas from the uh, side step, so if I take my follower through to walk around myself, and then when we do the side step here, if I move my right leg into the space between my follower's leg, I can create a cicada here, but because I'm displacing her leg, it forces her into a back step, so she's back pivoted around me. And I have to uh, compensate for that by putting my left foot behind my right and walking through, so we get a cicada there as well. We then did a combination of these, so I put my follower around me with my forward step, I'm putting the left foot of cicada through, pivoting her around, and then I put around, I got time to put my right foot in and get this card in here as well. Now we can do as many of these as we want to. We can also do them in the clockwise motion of the hero, and it doesn't matter which foot I put in first, so we could do this with the side step and setting my left foot through, and my right leg through, and my right foot card up uh, on my left foot from the side step as well. And that was the lunchtime class. In the evening class, we built up to doing some colgadas and ganchos from a burrito. So again, we start off with a side step to the left, and then I'm going to take my follower into almost a back option. So I'm pivoting my follower around to the left, so she's pivoting on the board of the foot, and closing my feet together and changing my weight onto my right foot. Then I'm taking a side step to my left, which causes my follower to do a back step. I can then pivot her uh, around to face me, pivot her the other way and take her into a normal back hot show, or I could just walk out. We then added in a burrito, which is to sweep the follower's foot, even the uh, follower could sweep the leaves, but we took a side step to the left, change weight, pivot her around, take the side step to the left, and now as I do this, I'm moving my right foot close to my follower's uh, right leg on the inside of her foot, and then moving her foot across herself and I'm using my chest to guide this as well. I can encourage my follower to move me back by moving my leg out of the way and using my chest, or the follower could take the initiative and she could move my foot so the follower could believe me. So we can do as many of these as we want to different places to emphasize the timer. To come out of this, I twist my chest to my left, my follower steps over and around, and we're free to walk out. From then, we uh, made this into a colgarda, so went into more advanced level tango. So from the burrito, and instead of bringing her in front of her standing leg, I'm taking her behind, and this creates a space. As I sink down into my uh, left leg, and allow my follower to move away from me, I can hang her away from me. So this is a colgarda, so she's leaning away, and I can bring her through my back around. And this gives her feel of more momentum, there's more angular momentum, it gives more of a motion feeling, it also looks more impressive as well. Finally, we finish with a uh, gang show, so we can either do this from the coal garda, or we can just do this from a actual balance point, which we'll do just for this pair to recap. So from the side step, changing weight, burrito, 
I sink down into my weight now, but not send my follower too far away from me. And as she steps over, I feel her stepping around. I can twist my chest to my right, lift my uh, right heel off the floor and bend my leg to create a point for her to gain show on. So she's hooking her leg on me, and I can send her back through and we're out. And that was our evening class. Thank you for watching this Urban Tango Mags recap. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the logo. You can find more of our class summaries down here and other videos of us dancing tango over here. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Meta. Links are in the description below. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter using the link below.